Number nine, we are days away from ringing in the new year, so why don't we say ringing anyway? It's simple. Communities used to say goodbye to the old year and welcome in the new one by ringing bells, usually in churches. Tradition faded, but the saying remained, but bells are still used to mark endings, like when someone dies, or beginnings, like wedding bells. Hmm. When you say ring in the new year, literally, you ring, ring in the bells. Ring bells. All right, number eight, let's talk about Jacob Fugger. Careful now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can be very, very that, careful, Mike. That, that is Jacob right there in your screen. He was born in 1459 in Germany. He was a merchant, a banker, and an entrepreneur. Made most of his money in textiles. By the time he died in 1525, he was arguably the richest man who ever lived. He had roughly 310 billion dollars. He was surpassed Whoa. by John Rockefeller, whose estimated wealth peaked somewhere around half a trillion. Yeah. Relative. Jacob, right there. Yes, yeah. to what the end. I would have pronounced it Fugger. Fugger? But yeah. Fugger. Just to stay out of trouble? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need one of those umlauts, right? Yeah. The Fugger? Maybe. Nice guy, nice family. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice, nice family. Yeah. Knew, his, knew his mom. Right. <laughs> Number seven, ever lose your car in a super crowded parking lot? It is the worst feeling. This has happened to me at O'Hare, but there's a simple hack to make sure it never happens again. Your Google Maps is able to pinpoint the location of your vehicle. Once you park, open the app on your phone and tap the blue dot. It indicates your current park position. Hit save your parking. If you've got iOS, you save your parking location, and bam, you'll never oh. have to worry about it again. That's a very Convenient. helpful tip. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you had that. No. Right there. Number six, if you are still single and looking to mingle, <laughs> listen up. Experts say dating trends are shifting and the pandemic is fueling some of those changes. For one, get used to phone calls and video chats before your date. People like the... Uh, the vibe, like the vibe check. check. Like the yeah. vibe check. They like the vibe like, check. What's the vibe? Yeah. Like they want to check they on like, what the vibe they is. They like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting way to put that. Uh, and then uh, get this VR dating maybe right around the corner. One dating app company is working on a virtual reality space called Single Town. Folks would put on huh. a VR headset and then be able to meet virtually, talking to them and get to uh, to know them from the comfort of their own homes. Oh. So that could be coming. Other dating trends to expect. I can say more and more daters want someone who is in therapy and expect people to throw a hardball your way. This is when they're super transparent about what they want from dating. Well, things are looking up. Yeah. Man, that's a lot to take in. You should put on your headset and meet mm. someone. And in the metaverse. Gonna, yeah, in the metaverse. But none of those right. people have heads. They're all <laughs> yeah. cut off at the neck. How can they, where? Doesn't make it's sense. It's like, do you pick an avatar? It's yeah. like, what's the, what's that game that the kids all play and you have to say, you walk around and like the virtual world, I'm blanking on it. Sim. The Sims? Or? No, uh, Roblox. Oh, Roblox. Go. Yeah, I've you like go around, that's what adults are going to do. The Sims are a long time ago. Hmm. All right, number five. Uh, the beauty bloggers are all about slugging right now. It's the term they use for locking, locking moisture into their skin using Vaseline or another petroleum-based ointment. Basically, you cover your skin, mostly your face, with the product and keep it on overnight. Marilyn Monroe was a big fan. She swore by Vaseline in order to keep her skin looking dewy and glowy. She reportedly slathered it all over her face before taking a three-hour bath. Yeah. The name comes from a Korean skincare world. It's uh, not recommended if you have oily skin. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, do it. <laughs> you're going to break out every single night. Yeah. Or you have combination skin or you use it on the dry part. Uh, Only okay. use it on the dry part right. is what they're suggesting. You know, this reminds me of when they used to say, oh, wash your mayonnaise, uh, wash your hair with mayonnaise. Mm. Yeah. Like one of those things where like it's a beauty... I don't know, myth, or maybe it actually yeah. works or not, but you don't think about like breaking out? Or do you have like any beauty tips, anything? Lauren? You get compliments all the time here. I see I online of your, your <laughs> I do not. appearance. Yes, you I do. do. Not. I, you know what I do not do? I do not put Vaseline all over no, my face. No, I know that no that would end No tips for other for women me. out there for your hair or makeup? Nothing? Nothing. Just to, to, okay. Nothing. Thought Just take your something. makeup off when you get home. All right, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's the biggest one. That's fair. That's Number true. four, the ultimate in social distancing, the Bellingham Treehouse in Washington. It sits right above a waterfall, so you won't have to deal with any annoying neighbors. You can spend the day hiking if you'd like to sit around all day watching movies on the 100 inch high def flat screen or you can sit outside on the large deck with stunning 360 degree views due to the location guests must sign a waiver and the home is not recommended for children wonder why pets are allowed not allowed either in this one since there's really nowhere to take them outside there's really yeah we're literally nowhere to take them outside. That's a lot of ways to get in badly yeah <laughs> in many different ways <laughs>
<laughs> all right, number three, let's face it, we could all use a good smile. So we give you dogs and raincoats. A good oh. raincoat for your dog should be made from water repellent material. Obviously, it should uh, fit tightly, but not too snugly. And make sure it doesn't restrict movement, especially under your dog's legs. That is a sweet look right there. Look at that wiener dog. Yeah. Dan, does Lupita have a raincoat? You know, I've tried to put... Um, We've tried to put coats on her, and she just she, she hated. What about the bun? Like the like make her look oh, like, like you the, know, the, the wiener dog? dog. Yeah, the costume, like the Halloween. Yeah. No, we haven't done that either. Yeah, we tried to put a sweater on her um, one year, like a Christmas sweater, didn't go well. But <laughs> like, dogs and owners know what I'm talking about. They're feisty little hounds. Number two, sometimes you just need a sausage. I swear I didn't know that story nope. was coming up next. It's perfect. Yeah. Look at this. We could do this here. So this is in Germany here. Uh, they're putting up sausage vending machines all over the place. They work just like regular vending machines, only they're filled with all your favorite sausages there. Bacon, summer sausage, jerky, mustard, cheese, curds, more. Wow. Especially popular near local pubs. A little late night sausage, right? Mm -hmm. You hit up the sure. vending machine. Wait, so it's all cooked? I'm assuming. I mean, it has to be it's all. I'm be, assuming, right? yeah. 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 But then why can't we do that here then? Well, that, that we can use look a little cooked. upgrade, and I know some of that stuff did not that appear to be cooked raw. to me. That might be mm -hmm. one wrinkle in our plan, but we need to up our vending machine game around That's here. That's what I, think, I was too. saying. It's just well, a bunch of Nutri Grain it. and Mountain mm -hmm. Dew in there. It's like you gotta. <laughs> Got You had two things to survive on. Yeah. The drink of champions. Number Mountain one, bars. <laughs> winter is here. You might need this Snowbot S1. Snowbot S1 will clear up up to a foot of snow from your driveway all on its own. It's like a Roomba, yeah. so we're right. Yeah, it's like a Roomba for snow. It's still, though, in the testing phase, but could be available next year. Yeah, be available this summer. This summer, <laughs> that's the time we're still for working August on it. 1st. <laughs> well, they do have those for uh, grass. I've seen those. Mm -hmm. they, oh, they, they do, have, and oh, those yeah. work, They've right? got little grass cutting mm -hmm. things, so why not do it with snow? It's coming. What could go wrong? Cue the Terminator music. All right. All right, that's the nine and nine. It's just nine and nine. Well, we got a lot.